Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Grammarly in PowerPoint in 2023. So make sure to join us as we uncover steps for seamlessly integrating your Grammarly into the PowerPoint or into your PowerPoint workflow, ensuring flawless and impactful presentations. So stay tuned to elevate your slides with polished grammar and style. And so thanks of course that to Grammarly supports within the PowerPoint. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we will have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the URL section and here you'll basically have to type grammarly.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you'll be taken to their home screen and main screen. If it's your first time, you'll not find yourself on a page like this. I'll just open a new private tab to show you where you're going to find yourself in. So you'll find yourself in something like this. Here, go to the top right corner to log in into your account if you have an account. If you don't, you can simply just go and click on sign up three or sign up with Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. You can do that through or using Facebook or Apple and even Google. If you have an account, you can even log in with those options too. Of course, what's like Grammarly about, you can uh, see this video about the AI generative like tool that they added recently with this AI invention. And as you can see, this will just uh, like explain us a bit. And as you can see in here, works where you do. So get suggestions from Grammarly while you write in desktop applications and sites across the web as you move between apps, social media, documents, messages, and emails. Even form emails and messaging, uh, messages is works with Gmail, Microsoft Outlook, Apple Mail, Slack. Of course, other like apps, not just those options that's in here. For documents and projects, it works with Google Docs, Microsoft Word, Salesforce, Notion. And for social media, it works with LinkedIn, Facebook, X, and Discord. And as I said, not just those options, it works with a lot of other options other than that. If you keep scrolling down, you'll find like a video, 20 seconds video, 30 seconds video divided by six parts, showing you how to use that. You can always pause this if you want to read something out. And that's it. So once you're logged in into your account or you just create your account, you will be taken to the steps, of course, to download the Grammarly into your PC or add it as an extension on your browser so if you skip those parts you can simply go to this list panel and here click on apps and this will take you into this page once you are here as you can see you'll be able to download it in your windows add it on your chrome browser or whatever browser you're using uh download it for your iphone ipad or even download this for your android one so for example if you want to install it on, as an extension you'll find yourself here click on add to whatever browser you have for me, it's Brave, so I find here Brave. Of course, for me, I have here Remove because I already like download this before. And as you can see, you'll find the icon at the top right corner. And here, if I click on it, I'll find this right here. I'll be able to edit the settings. I write in English, uh, which English, like American, Indian, Canadian, Australian, British. Of course, this will just like fix the tune or uh, the way that you are speaking with or uh, typing with. Of course, you can download this with Windows. And of course, uh, for iPhone, iPad, whatever you're using. For the plans, for example, they have some plans. If you get a better plan, you'll get like a better features. So if you go here to the Slack panel, click on plans or premium, sorry, they'll give you like the plans that they have here. Uh, the features that comes with this, if you click and get started, you'll see the prices for the business. You will get like $15 per month per member, of course. And I guess that's it. So for me, I have this extension and I even have it downloaded if I go and open like Grammarly. So what you'll need to do, you'll have to go and open your PowerPoints. Either you're going to use it on your browser as an example. So if you're using it in the browser, of course, this is just Grammarly when open as an app. You will like find the, the option to open a new document to start typing in Grammarly. Of course, you can do that. For example, if we go here, so let's just go through that because I will not close it. Of course, you can go through the settings and change those settings as you can see if you want to accounts, block list, etc. And of course, it will all, always open background if you click on X. If you want to close it totally, you can simply go let's click and click on quit Grammarly. So 
Now, as, as I said, you'll be able to uh, start a new document. As I showed you in the app, you can simply go and start a new document. Type what's here, whatever you want. Use even this generative AI to create whatever you want. So uh, I will fill an example, some slides with informations about nature. So give me what is going to fit as an example in five slides as an example. So five slides and hit the enter button. And as you can see, they'll give you basically what you should do. You can even just copy that and insert this in your slide. So for me here, I'll just go and try it for free for home. And let's see. Okay, I'll have to start my own trial, etc. So for you, you can use this on your browser if you want to, or you can simply just go and open the app. For me, I have the app, so I'll just go and open that. And as you can see in here, you can start typing. For me, Grammarly is open. If you can see here at the bottom right corner, an icon of Grammarly, that means it's already in there. So that's cool. You can access the settings. You can do whatever you want with it. So you can start typing. As example, so I'll just go to subtitles and type like don't. Okay, like uh, PowerPoint already like fixed that. I don't want it to fix it. So don't use uh, that. I'll just type that like that. Hello. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll just okay like this and see. So as you can see at the bottom right corner, you'll find like the Grammarly icon that has three mistakes. It will keep calculating always. So if you click on it, you'll be able to fix those uh, problems so keep clicking on accept and as you can see you can simply just fix those problems if you still have a problem you'll have just to wait a bit until it recalculates those problems as you can see so it will even give you some uh, premium suggestions all not all suggestions you'll not get all suggestions until you go and get like the premium plan you can go and get that of course like you can even right click and see like of course this is like the suggestion of uh, PowerPoint. so i guess it's easy as simple as that you can simply just go and click on the icon you'll find all the mistakes just keep clicking on accept and you'll be good to go as you can see for some uh, like punctuation problems you will have to go and get the premium but i suggest you of course i'll just close that to use this AI generative tool to create or to type everything out because it's type without any mistakes so you don't have to go and get a premium plan so you can write without any mistakes if you want to write an email just tell him if you want to try uh, to write just a message to your friend as an example if you don't have a good, good english uh, good writing skills english you can simply use this generative ai tool that's included in grammarly to write everything out you can simply click on insert and it will insert everything in here you can make some changes you can save it in grammarly you can do whatever you want so that's going to be it in our video for this I uh, hope you like it. If you do, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And that's it. I'll see you or I'll catch you in the next one. So thanks for watching.